Hey there, fellow travelers. Welcome back to my vlog. Today, I'm taking you on an exciting journey as we explore the breathtaking landscapes of Banff. We've got an action-packed itinerary plan, so let's dive right in. All parking spots, hotels, restaurants, we have a link in the description, so please check it out. Day one, we arrived in Banff at 11 a.m., ready to kick off our adventure. Our first stop, a mouth-rottering Brazilian steak lunch at Pampas. This cost us basically $39.85 per person, and trust me, the flavors were just incredible. After satisfying our appetites, we headed to the Safeway to stock up on some groceries for the next few days. It's always handy to have some snacks and essentials on hand during our travels. Oh my goodness, the rain coming down made it about an hour drive from Calgary to Canmore, but you would not believe it was one of the most enjoyable drives I've ever done in the rain. Just going into Banff and Canmore, despite all the rain and drops and everything, still beautiful to behold. And I am not exaggerating even by a little bit. Our stay in Canmore was at the Coast Canmore Hotel and it is within rocking distance to just about everywhere within the downtown as well as having some of the nicest people that hosted us. You do have to pay for parking though overnight and overall it was a great experience and I appreciated everybody there. However, due to the rain, we decided to drive around and enjoy the natural beauty surrounding Banff as opposed to going into any of the actual parks. However, even from the car, the scenery was just absolutely stunning. Rise and shine, folks. Day two starts bright and early with a delicious breakfast and a cup of coffee to fuel our adventures. Our first stop is the Canmore downtown, a charming place to explore and soak in the local atmosphere. Next, we head over to Spring Creek, a picturesque spot to enjoy a leisurely stroll and appreciate nature's wonders. After that, we made our way to Wildflower Garden, Quarry Lake, White Man Pond, and each of these places offer their own unique beauty and serenity.
At the Wildflower Garden, you can canoe, boat, or just take pictures at the bridge. It is so beautiful. The water, clean, and because it's not as popular as the other places, it wasn't as crowded. And honestly, that's one of the things that we loved about it. The road to Three Sister Mountains is currently under construction, so please be careful. White Man's Pond, it is so peaceful. You can canoe here and it's not crowded even though it's in the summer. But because of the heavy rain yesterday, it is extremely muddy. We couldn't resist the allure of Crassy Lake. It is a stunning hiking trail that rewarded us with breathtaking views once we reached the top. Such a memorable experience. In the afternoon, we embarked on a tour to the iconic Lake Louise and Lake Moran. We booked a tour because the road from Lake Louise to Moran is closed for personal cars and you have to park at Lake Louise to even take a shuttle to Lake Moran. However, there are also limited parking spots at Lake Louise and people have to park in Banff, take the Rome, get on another bus, and in all honesty, we just wanted a stress-free, risk-free, and not try to put too much on our time while we were here in Banff. So we decided to take a tour. You can see a link in the description below. At Lake Louise, the shuttle parks right in front of it in the parking lot takes you about three minutes to walk to the lake. Beautiful, but so crowded. We have one hour at the lake, so if you want to stay longer, then a tour would not be for you. though we were still able to take some amazing pictures. After that, we walked inside the Fairmont of the Lake Louise where they serve both lunch and dinner. However, you'll need to reserve a table in advance in order to enjoy the food as well as the spectacular view outside. Now, 
Back to our tour guide as we head to Lake Moran, which is about a 30 minute drive away. To have the most beautiful view of Lake Moran, you're gonna have to climb up the Rock Power Trail. It is very easy and it only takes about 10 minutes to walk up there. Moran Lake, I can talk about it all day, nestled within the majestic Canadian Rockies. It is a real true gem in this planet and will leave you speechless once you reach it. It's pristine turquoise waters surrounded by towering snow-capped peaks, lush forests, just creates a scene straight out of a fairy tale. And as you stand at the edge of the lake, the sheer beauty and tranquility of the place just overwhelms you. It's a vibrant color on the water cascading across the presence of a rock flower, giving you this otherworldly glow that is just truly mesmerizing. Moran's Lake beauty goes beyond its visual appeal, however. It also evokes a sense of awe and reverence, reminding us of the incredible power and artistry of nature. It's no wonder that Moran Lake has often been referred to as the Jewel of the Rockies. Rise and shine, early birds. Day three begins with a hearty breakfast to fuel our exploration of Banff. We ate breakfast again at the hotel to save money. So far, our meal cost average has been basically just $7 a meal. Today, we decided to start it off by visiting Vermilion Lake. Take some memorable photos at the famous Banff signs. There's a free parking on the left when you drive into Banff downtown, so I highly recommend that. It's just a short walk into the downtown itself, so it isn't too bad at all. Afterward, we found another free parking near the Buffalo National Museum. From there, we could also walk around Banff. It's roughly about 1.5 to 2 kilometers to walk to each location.
We were a little bit lazy on our way back down, so we got in our car and drove down to the Cascade of Garden. And then that was just basically a four minute drive. Stopping at the Bow Fall lower viewpoint, the other side of Bow Falls was also equally impressive. A stunning waterfall cascade gracefully going down the Bow River. On one side you have lush greenery, on the other towering mountains. The sheer power and beauty of the Bow Falls was just awe-inspiring. In order to appreciate the view and take in everything, we decided to just eat lunch there, which we had packed peanut butter sandwiches, fruits, apples, and just simply enjoy the sound of the falls as it came down. Several people from tour buses came in, but since they were limited on time, a lot of them just took photos and left. So if you were to sit there in about an hour, you see several sorts of people coming in and watch people watching is just as fun as well. Our adventure continued at the Cave and Basin, a historic site where we learned about Banff's rich natural heritage. We later parked and took a free shuttle to go up to the Norquay viewpoint. They would stop at the cliff where we had to go and walk back to the lookout spot. This only takes about 15 minutes and it was one of the most favorite moments sitting on that mountain. You could see the entire town of Banff as well as most of the lakes and natural beauty and the mountains, Million Lake and it was just an amazing view. Surprisingly, there wasn't that many people there as well. Oh my bear! Yes, we saw a bear twice. First when we were on the bus, however, we couldn't record it fast enough. The second time though, we definitely found a video of it. It was extremely scary and we still talk about it many months later. We heard, however, that the grizzly bears are friendly towards humans, but there have been some incidences, including one that was killed and three people that were injured. So just be careful guys, look into getting some bear spray as well as being educated on what to do. For dinner, we indulged this time and decided to get ourselves Chuck Steakhouse in Banff downtown. The bill came out to be about $93 in CAD with the tax and tips included. The meal was extremely delicious, the server was good, and we were treated to a second floor viewing that overlooked the town of Ben. Thank you for watching our video. This concludes part one of our amazing trip to Banff. Tune in to the next part to continue days four, five, and six. Hope to see you there.